The 80th National Peanut Festival is kicking off with its parade tomorrow. News 4's Lily O'Brien met with festival officials to learn more about the preparations. She joins us live now. So Lily, how is the parade looking and what's different this year? Kinsley, I was able to see some of the floats myself and let me tell you, they're ready to go. Just standing in the staging area, you could feel the excitement, but that excitement isn't without concern from potential parade goers as some new changes with the parade is leaving them concerned. Executive director of the festival, Tony Ellison, says the changes come from a variety of past issues. With a smaller route, more volunteers can actually see the parade and less area has to be policed and protected. By condensed, condensing the parade, he says it's revamped and refreshed. Also, contrary to popular belief, he says antique tractors will be on full display, honoring the farmers of the wiregrass. For the festival's 80th year, Ellison says the changes also bring the parade back to its roots. Foster Street is traditional. That's where the parade used to go. All these cool pictures that you see of the floats and stuff from back in the 50s and all. That's Foster Street. We're just trying, since it's our 80th anniversary, just trying to give it a little oomph and do it down Foster again, just to see. Now, Ellison assures me the peanut truck will still be in the parade just at the end. And also at the end of the parade, a special guest for kids to keep their eye out for. Kinsley? Lily O'Brien, thank you for that report.